it going city builders welcome to cities by jake i'm your resident architect in today's episode we will be sculpting out our seaport park creating the seaport district along with creating our financial districts in our beautiful city of magnolia right here in city skylines too but before we get started if you've enjoyed the series so far give this video a like and if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon to be notified when a new episode comes out Lastly, comment below on what part of the city I should work on next. All right, with that, let's get into it. All right, how's it going, everyone? Um, like the intro said, we're going to be focusing on building, continuing our seaport park, building out our seaport district, and then we're going to start working on our financial district. That kind of is going to be in the center of this area. Uh, what I want to, what's the goal? The goal for today is to kind of really detail this out and really kind of finish this area out so that it's kind of done and final. And then I also want to utilize developer mode and really be, really pick what buildings that I want for um, the, you know, our high rise buildings. So we're going to pick a lot of level five you know, office buildings, level five residential towers and level five commercial towers kind of through this area. And then we'll sprinkle in some normal zoning in between. But there are a few things that I want to make sure that we get into this build today. And the first one is our observation tower that's going to go in here. And then the second one. The second one is going to be our central bank. Um, I haven't decided if I want to put it on here or kind of in here and kind of create a little campus. Uh, I haven't decided that yet, but it's, this is going to be the center, the focal point of our financial district. Those are the two main buildings that I want to get in and I haven't figured it out I'm still I was trying to get the art gallery in here as well but it doesn't really fit it would have to we'd have to move some roads around and I kind of I want it to be in this area just to kind of I think it will glow um, a lot better it will kind of piece together the financial district with that central bank but again, I haven't really figured out where where this is going to go. And it may not work down here, but that is a plus if we do end up figuring out where to put it. Our first task of the day is to finish out this um, seaport district. Uh, seaport park, excuse me. So that's what we're going to work on right now. I want to bring in a road right here. I'll bring in that road as well. And then let's figure out how we want to do this in what that looks like for
Okay, so that is probably great. We can, uh, you know, we go in and detail this. We can add on to our um, surfaces and adding a lot of detail through here so that it's, um, feels like it's one big you know, area. So we're gonna delete this. Curious. Grab this level. Let's keep that just so it kind of matches once. I'm not really a fan of having four of them. I wish it was just two big ones, but that's probably okay. We'll leave like that for now until we kind of figure out how we're gonna continue this on. I think we should kind of do something like this. Just want to connect here because this is all pedestrian path so if we have a pedestrian path that connects into here that would be nice let's do that i kind of like how that is and then we can kind of connect here Kind of keep that going and break out to smaller paths right here. Kind of get some small breakouts right there. We'll leave that like that. Just kind of have some randomness to it. We're going to add a lot of trees and a lot more detailing, kind of similar to how we did it over here as well. There's a lot of randomness that kind of happens, so we'll bring that in so that kind of flows a little bit better. But I actually don't like this. Okay, so. Let's just start from scratch and let's add, we're going to add a park here. 
maybe actually let's see how big is the botanical garden what that looks like too I actually want to keep that here then we can grab our bridge pathway and let's just connect it I don't want to do continuous great Then let's actually just replace it normal. Regular one and maybe something like that. Kinda like how that looks. Yeah, I kind of, I actually really like how that looks. Then we can bulldoze this. Then when this is bring in our continuous path. And we'll leave it like that. What we'll do. Path right here. Like that. Then that's this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to we're gonna do a filler. No, that's actually this path. this bring this back down to here and then we'll do something like that Then do some sort of random this with our path and network. And then I have plans with developer mode to kind of put into here. So we'll leave that for now. Name goes for down here. Okay, so kind of did some cleanup here. Uh, I was messing around with this, so I ended up just pushing this arch back here and kind of leaving it like that. I have an idea here anyways. So next thing what I wanted to do was go into developer mode. So here we have a gazebo. And I want to utilize the ends to add gazebos to. Here. Actually. like these ones.
definitely do. We'll go add all of these. Let's just add them. Let's get a pathway to add one. that so I want to start adding a lot of develop remote stuff through here as I kind of like see all of the stuff I think a lot of it would be great so we're gonna add probably add a few park benches around here as well um, but I want to get the landscaping done first before I go in and add those but I wanted to make kind of like a key focal point areas here the next i'm going to do is i'm going to landscape all of this and along this edge <laughs>
lot of this out. Um, not perfect, but it's definitely, this is the first time I've ever done this kind of detailing, you know, in both the skylines two and one. So I kind of like how it turned out. Um, yeah, and use the water tool feature to add a lake in here, kind of add in some rocks and all that little more detail. So I really like how this park is turning out and I really like how this kind of turned out. So next thing that we're gonna move on to is our seaport district. And this is going to be mainly high density residential with a few, you know, office and commercial mix in between. I'll probably do a lot of commercial kind of down on this trip right here. And then we'll do a lot of um, housing residential areas right here. And a lot of this is where I'm probably going to use um, developer mode to kind of clean this all up right here. Before we even get started, I noticed that we have a bit of a landscaping issue. So that's how it's going on right there. You can even kin zone to there. So we can zone on here. It's not really an issue. Um, what I want to do though, I want to make sure that not overdoing it. I think now that I think about it, I might have a lot of low density commercial, like a lot of food places. And uh, did we recently unlock food station? An anarchy. Why? Let me place it for a second. What do? Okay. If we can get it all there. We'll add that right here. And this is kind of like the vibe. I want to go down here. We'll probably do a little bit of like large office buildings, but um, this is kind of the idea. Let's get a path here. And that that what it did grab right right there. Do same thing. Here. Have like a park area right here. And then I want to utilize probably the rest. We'll probably do another commercial building right here. And then we'll utilize we utilize this, this area for residential and maybe up here too. Here, and I want to add
let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I like the row homes. I just don't, I'm not a fan of. So what I might have to do is I might have, I might have to do a lot of developer mode here and kind of get what we want. So let me pause and we will, okay. Kind of delete developer mode and search that is a three one two three four three by six We just need to make sure we're getting a lot of breezes. Three, five. that a little better then you do three by four and a residential medium level five Let's do a two by four. Five, a two by four. Let's just make sure. to re rethink this
So I went ahead and placed a lot of high rises in the seaport kind of main district area up here. I, don't, I think uh, this area is just going to resolve revolve around just zoning, just regular zoning, high rise and medium density through here. And then a lot of commercial is probably going to be in mixed use through here as well. Um, I did realize that this is not the greatest if you look um but i don't want to go through and redo all of this that would be very difficult so i just kind of working with it is probably how it's gonna and we'll just leave it at that but we're gonna go ahead and hit play and hopefully all of this works and start seeing a lot of people move into here okay so we got high rent that's expected when there's not a lot of demand for high density but um we have them so high rent will happen until a lot of a lot of event going around here so that's kind of what I wanted to do to start zoning a lot of commercial office um, mixed use in through here. And I want to be strategic with what I do. So that's, I don't want to do, I don't want to zone in, but I want a greenway to kind of separate the two or district on this just normal kind of you know, this will probably be a lot of commercial touristy zone areas so let's just I'm just gonna go ahead and zone <laughs>
Okay, so all of the buildings that I think I want to have here are built out. Maybe in the future we'll go in and kind of upzone some of this stuff to get a little bit more density, but um, we'll probably have to play, play around with it. I don't know if I want a lot of density like this. I think having this downtown be where the density is great, and then we start to kind of diversify and spread out the zoning. So, um, yeah, we might go in and kind of use developer mode to get some bigger buildings kind of sparsed out through here. But for now, I think it's going to be good. Once It'll probably look a lot better once detail add some trees and you know get all those great stuff in there but before i even go into detail i want to lay this out i think we're going to have our central bank right here to start the financial district which we can name right now so we can have our financial district kind of run through here um this is where we'll just have more residential and commercial touristy zone right here and yeah so we're just gonna zone out these two districts uh i think we're i think you know actually now that i think about it i think we're just gonna do this and we're gonna do a heavy detail of this area and then maybe the next episode we'll go into this area and i also i'm gonna detail this out as well So let's do the bank, which I gonna want. Okay, so I added the bank and I added a few commercial spots kind of in the corners of the just to kind of add, get a little bit more space, but for the most part, this is gonna be all sleeping and realize. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I moved the PlayStation, police station, not PlayStation, uh, police station here. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Oh, Sid fill in stuff to fill in where we add our I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a tall blend in a little bit more which looks like you'll be good Anyways, while that is building in, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start our detailing portion of the video. So let me start here. We're gonna start detailing here because this is gonna be the most consuming. And then we'll work our way from here all the way to back here. <laughs>
All right, so I know I said I was gonna get this done today, but I've already been detailing all of this for probably two, three hours now. My hand is starting to get really tired, and so I am going to stop right there, and when we develop this out in the next episode, we will include this so that we will have all of this developed out in the next episode. But yeah, I really am enjoying using developer mode and all of the mods that we have added to the build to really get some, um, really add uniqueness to uh, the city, you know, adding this kind of plaza for this residential development and then in another plaza for this hotel and then you know continuing adding a plaza for this other five star um, residential building and then adding some plazas for our off buildings well really enjoying how you know, kind of understanding this developer mode and just really enjoying it. And hopefully when Paradox Mods comes out, there's a lot more assets that we can add and we won't have to use developer mode anymore. But really enjoying how this built up this episode came about. You know, I'm really enjoying how this episode um, Yeah, I really enjoyed this episode kind of developing this out further and I can't wait to continue on developing this area and really using developer mode to really pick on what I what buildings I'm putting in there. Really looking forward to it. I really like how this whole park turned out, you know, using the mods and developer mode to kind of flavor add some more flavor to the the area really enjoyed how it's coming out but yeah so that's gonna do it for today's episode if you really enjoyed it make sure you if you really enjoyed it please give it please consider giving this video a like and if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon to be notified when a new episode comes out thank you so much for watching goodbye